Hi guys. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that I've got together and start taking some things over to Penny, making up the beds, things like that. So the table is chaotic and some of it you've seen and some of it you haven't. So I'll do a quick run through of what's on the table and then, you know, get into a bit more detail later. <laughs> so this is the table so far. So you've seen things like the towels, the chopping board, the pretty basket. Um, but there's things on here that I haven't shown you and that I thought were rather nifty and I thought I'd um, show you them. So I have bought a first aid kit uh, from Amazon. Very good actually and on offer at the moment for £24.99. Um, there's lots in it so I'll just undo it and show you. So if you see it's got all sorts like a little mini first aid that you can attach to your belt if you go out walking um, and it's got heat packs and ice packs and scissors and um, a silver blanket and you know all manner of bits and pieces that I hope we will never ever ever need <laughs> but you know it's one of those things I thought yeah maybe we should have it along. I've bought a cover for the seats for the dogs Look at this nifty saucepan. Isn't this clever? Look how small that is. And then you, it's silicon, so you take the lid off, glass lid with silicon, and you can, oh, sorry, and you can, oh, if I can do it one-handed, I'm not sure I can. Oh, yes, there I go. You can pop it out, pop it out into a full size, you know, it's only small, but it's for boiling an egg or heating some soup or something. Um, I thought that was so, so clever. And again, that's an Amazon buy. It was a little bit more than I would normally pay for a basic um, saucepan. I think it was 20 something, but the fact that it folds down, I think is brilliant. These are two folding chairs for sitting out in the sun. Um, I think they're a really pretty design. Look at the, the design on them. They are so light, guys. They are so, so light. You could walk carrying these and it would not be a big issue. So I was pleased with those. And I've also got some rather pretty dark grey chenille blankets or throws to go over our bedding to keep it nice so that's just a few I mean there are some really sensible things here as well that you have to buy so in here this bag is which one is this I think this one might be electric is it electric I'm gonna guess now <laughs> no th yes this one has the electric cable in it that you connect your camper van up with and then I got a different bag with orange piping and that has water and eventually I'll learn that one is one and the other is the other but at the moment I don't and even this look I thought this was so so funny I had to buy it apparently it's quite useful to have but I got a it's like one of those signs you put up when you've got wet floors and it says reserved because we're not taking a separate car with us we're just using little penny and um apparently you can go out for the day and come back and find inadvertently someone has parked where you park um because you haven't put a sign up. So anyway, that's the table as it looks at the moment. I mean, chaotic. So I'm gonna start taking it out, make the beds up and show you and talk to you while I'm in Penny. So we're out in Penny and I'm gonna make the beds up and show you what I'm using. I'm really not very good at this, you know, this whole freehand business, but I'm gonna have a go. So I'm starting out with two, uh, starting out with two green fitted sheets that I bought for £2.50 in Matalan. I've already put one on. This is my side. As you can see, it's, <laughs> can you see? Can you see that the bed is shaped slightly? It's sh the shorter one of the two. Okay, so I've since learned that I probably would have been better off buying uh, flat sheets rather than fitted, because of course these beds are not traditional single size. But it will do for now. It's all creased because it's been washed and tumble dried and I don't iron fitted sheets. <laughs> Fussy as I am, I do not iron fitted sheets. Next bed is lo oh, longer. I just fell down the step. <laughs> and it's nearly a full single size. Um, it's just not quite as wide. So there we go. That's the green bedding. Now, next up is the quilts. 
want you to be able to see it. This is by Fine Bedding and Company. It's called their Owl 3-in-1. And basically, folds down to absolutely nothing, but it can be a, two single sleeping bags or a double sleeping bag or just used as two separate um, double beddings. Nick very much wanted a sleeping bag. He is convinced, <laughs> absolutely convinced that he's going to be cold. So his is as a sleeping bag. I, on the other hand, with the other half, I don't think I'm going to be cold. I think I'm probably going to be too flipping warm. Um, so I'm going to use mine as a as a duvet. The only trouble is, of course, it is double sized. So, so the weird thing is, I'm going to have to fold this in a strange way to make it stay on the bed. Um, and I'm not convinced that this will actually work for me. But I, you know, I'm going to give it a go. Um, if worse comes to worse, Nick can have a double. Then we have pillows. <laughs> I've got to lay down to see you. Um, I've got these lovely pillowcases that I've had for ages. I bought them in TK Maxx. In fact, this pack hasn't even been opened. Something insane, like 15 years ago. Um, they were supposed to be £19 and they were £3.99 each because they're Lulu Guinness. And they have this really pretty banding on the top. So I use these generally, not all of them, as you can see, one of them's still packed. Um, I use them on the beds in the summer when we go over to the just a sheet and a pillowcase uh, job on the bed because they're just pretty. I do have sheets that match, but of course they're doubles, so they wouldn't work in here. This is I feel so silly. I meant to say one of the great things about the um, fine bedding, owl <laughs> bedding, whatever you want to call it, um, and I will put a link on if anyone's interested, but the great thing about these duvets is they are machine washable. So I don't have to bother with duvet covers. Um, I can literally just take these in, pop them in the washing machine and they dry. And you know, and it's just, I think it's the easiest bedding I've ever come across. And of course, as you know, um, I'm using the old pillows off my bed so that uh, the smell hopefully will trigger, you know, serotonin, relaxation, all that sort of thing. Now to try and protect the beds, and I hope these are the right size, I got these. They are Tesco Habitat, Tesco, Sainsbury's Habitat uh, Chenille Throws. They were in the sale. Uh, I paid, let me think, I paid £8 each for them. No, that can't be right. £9 each because they were 18 originally. They were half price. Uh, they're a lovely dark colour because I know my dogs. <laughs> And the minute we turn our backs, they're gonna get up on these beds. So, I'm just hoping that this will cover most of the bed for each of us. And they're beautifully soft, I have to say. These are beautifully soft. So they'll be ideal to take off the beds and put around our shoulders if we're sitting out and, you know, and it starts to get a bit cool. So I am pleased with these. And then the last, oops, and then the last thing I got was a cushion each. Uh, Nick said we didn't need them. I agree, we probably don't need them, but I saw them, I loved them, and I bought them. I'm gonna have to get better at going up and down this step. Admittedly, I haven't put the extra step out, but I just flew in through the door. Um, yes, I picked us up one of these each from Dynalm. Um, the velvet, the gray on the back, as well as on the front. Oh, that's coming out. Um, they have these dancing herons which is supposed to be good luck herons serenity peace good luck all that kind of thing and i decided that we should have one each to live on the bed uh, <laughs> i'm not going to tell you what nick said about it so that's the bedding on the bed so the cushions by the way were 16 pounds each which is you know it's a bit pricey but i just fell in love with them and i liked the idea of the the heron etc one of the things i don't like about the camper van is the color of the curtains they are original to the camper van they will be changed at some point i will be changing those um lime green not really me but for the time being i'm leaving them alone <laughs> And another little thing that I got, whoops, were a set of hangers from Dunelm, 10, for £2.50. They're wire ones and they're coated in this sort of 
rubberized stuff so nothing will fall off so we'll have five each in our wardrobe so we actually have a wardrobe each so this is mine so there we go i mean they'll have to have something on them because oh boy are they nosy um, and it may be that I end up not using the hanging space at all because of the noise. But I'm going to start out as if I would. So that's it. That's the beds made. Um, in the middle, there is this extra mattress here and an extra piece of mattress here. Um, they are if we wanted to turn this into one double. I don't particularly want to because it makes access to the drawers and things a little bit harder and frankly you know <laughs> we're so close to each other we may as well be in a double while we're in the singles if you know what I mean so um these cushions are probably going to go into the house because you can also use them get down please Bert because I'm talking he, he just gets so frazzled by me talking get down please Bert um you could all I could also use them to turn the table and chair into a little single bed should I wish to well I have no need to so I'm going to take these in I think um and put them somewhere where they'll be kept nice and warm and dry and so on for the future there's so much more still to go in I mean just take a look at the table <laughs> but it's nice to think the beds are done um <sighs> I decided to take the bull by the horns because I had that success on Friday um, of driving it home. I really want to build on it while the weather is nice. Um, I don't want to give myself too much time to overthink the situation. So we are booked to go away Friday night. Uh, we are going somewhere that apparently is 39 minutes from where we live to a camping and caravanning site. Um, so I am prepping for that. It just stops me from, yeah, just thinking and thinking and thinking. It looks like a really nice place. It's got a big um, lake, I think, in the middle and just peaceful and a good place for us to get loads of things wrong because 39 minutes away is nothing. And obviously I can come home if I want to. So <laughs> I'm cracking on with this because I, I, you know, I know me, Nick knows me. Give me enough time and we won't go because I haven't got the correct tea towel. It, you know, I just start coming up with all these reasons why I can't do it, don't want to do it. You know, we shouldn't do it. Um, <laughs> by Friday, I'll be praying for a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bert. Um, so I'm just cracking on and doing it. You know, we've got it. Let's do it. So that's it for today. Um, I promised they'd only be little ones, and I hope this is only little. I've got to edit it because at the moment it's really long, but it's really long <laughs> because I was making a bed and, you know, that kind of thing. So once I've cut it down, I'm hoping this is just like a little snippet. Um, the next one will be, of course, putting the kitchen together, etc. So uh, and showing you what I've bought and, and what I think and all of that. Um, I hope you're all well. It's beautifully sunny here. It really is. It's glorious. I have found a um, oh a chiropractor, and I'm going to see a chiropractor the first time. I actually I wimped out and didn't do it last week um, because I just you know had too I, there was too much there was too much. So I did my usual thing of wimping out. So he was very good about it. Um, and I'm actually, I gave him notice, of course, and I'm going to see him today. So hopefully I get there okay. I cope with the fact that it's a strange man and a strange building and a strange everything. And he does something to help me with my neck because my neck is persisting and it's giving me the most god awful headaches. And it is my neck that's doing it. It's not anything else. I can feel the tension in, in the back of my head and my neck coming up and over. So uh, I'm praying he can sort me out. <laughs> So I'll be doing that this afternoon. I'm a bit more about that as well because, you know, anything like that can be such a challenge, such a big, big challenge. But I feel like I'm on a little bit of a roll and I think it's sort of, I'm going to fly with the seat of my pants and just hope that I don't crash and burn. So keep your fingers crossed for me that it goes well and that, you know, tomorrow or whenever I talk to you next, my neck won't be hurting because it hurts all the blinking time. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're well and I hope you're happy and thank you all so much for being in touch and, and everything. So um, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.